hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today I am going to show you how to make an object explode when you shoot that object with an arrow so here is the preview now I am going to shoot this object with my arrow and be destroyed like this it will blow up into pieces and yeah let's let me do a couple of them like right That's the other one. Three. Right. So that's what I'm going to do today. And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous Patreons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Alright. So I have imported this barrel object. And I'm going to use this one as the explosive barrel. First, I'll create another blueprint. Let's create a folder first. X plus U objects. And so let's create a new blueprint in the type of actor. I'll call it PP. X plus you. Explosive object. Right. So now let's go here into my barrel model. And let's create a destructible object from this one. Um, to create a destructible object, I think I have to enable I need to enable this plugin. It should be under physics. Yeah, this one FX destruction, and I have to restart the editor. Right, editor restarted. Now let's see. Now I can create this destructible mesh like this. So let's. Um, Let's uh, reduce this cell side count to something like 5 because I don't need this to be more process intensive and fracture. Yeah, after fracturing, you can see the destroyed parts like this. So, what else we have to do here? right now we have the destructible mesh and let's use this destructible mesh for our explosive object like this Okay, now I need to define what should happen when this object is hit by an arrow. So for that I am going to implement that interface I have already defined, this PPI damageable. 
and I think you are already familiar with this if you have followed my previous tutorials so here we have this on arrow hit method and I'm going to implement that here on arrow hit not like that first I need to compile on arrow hit like this okay now I'm gonna do this part only once because yeah because uh, this should be able to I should be able to destruct or explode this object only one time so yeah I'll discard these things for now and I'll only implement this part let's spawn X Mm. emitter at location then location should be the location and the type emitter type is explosion like this and let's see if this works it wouldn't uh, explode I mean it wouldn't destruct at the moment but let's see if this arrow shooting works so if this is working it should explode show that explosion particle yeah actually that happened just in case you didn't notice uh, let me increase the scale of this one like this and show again yeah the particle animation played that means the part is executing so now how can I make this disruptible mesh explode into pieces let's uh, try this one get this mesh and we can apply damage apply let's apply radius damage from the center that means from the location of this of this actor and the base damage should be let's say one I don't really have a a perfect idea about these parameters but let's try these values and let's enable full damage It worked but it seems this uh, the impulse strength is not enough so let's set um, something like 100 oh no 10,000 maybe let's play some explosion sound as well To really give the do I have explosion sound? Uh, I do. Right, let's try this. Okay, it worked, but the sound was not. I barely heard that sound. See, the sound is not loud enough. Let's see. Oh, 
Why shouldn't I increase the value? That's better. And I haven't added any attenuation. I think I should define a new attenuation setting. Let's duplicate this one. ATTN explosion because I need this sound to be able to hear from a larger distance. So in our radius, I'll put something like yeah, 400 is. Let's say 500. All of distance must be 20,000. Okay, now let's see. That's better. Even though I could use some more, some better explosions, explosion particle, but little this will do for now. All right. So that's all I want to do for today. Let's try one more thing. Let's. Um, Increase this cell site count to 15 and fracture again. And now it has more chunks, I think. Yeah. Oh, one more thing. I forgot to assign that attenuation. Right. Now let's see how it looks. Alright, that's better. And yeah, that's all I want to do for today. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club and I'll put the I'll upload the latest source code into the into my Patreon page. And thanks for watching and don't forget to share and like and let me know if you have any problems in the comment section. And see you in the next episode. Goodbye.